weighs six and a half tons. Now, our trebuchet master gives the command, prepare to load. The rock is removed from the flammable liquid and placed into the central trough on the command of load. The projectile is now loaded. Our trebuchet master hooks the rope on the, on the top pin of the arm there and gives the command, clear the machine. Our loader then steps out of the machine and takes away any remaining flammable liquid and steps round to pick up the brand to light the projectile. At this point, our trebuchet master will step up onto the machine and remove two very important safeties. First of all, he removes the chain. Chain removed! Second of all, a <laughs> pin holding the trigger in place. Pin removed! <laughs> One slip and it goes off accidentally. Now, our trebuchet master steps back, picks up the trigger, trigger rope and gives the command, add fire. Add fire! <laughs> our lighter is now lighting the projectile. Once lit, our trebuchet master must hold his nerve. Too long and the machine made of wood is on fire. Not long enough and the ball will go out in the air. So he holds. And he holds. <laughs> And he holds a little bit more. <laughs> oh, yeah! Ladies and gentlemen, the Warwick Castle Trophy! Woo! 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 That is not possible without one of the few people in the country that can operate that machine. Please give a big cheer for our trebuchet master printing to put out that little bit of fire. And sprinting with similar vigour, Richard down the other end with a fire extinguisher to put it out. Just give him a loud cheer. So yeah, Richard! Yeah. Okay guys.